My name's Joey Garfield. I did the uh, film X Bully. A geek and a uh, ex geek and ex bully meeting 15, 20 years later. Uh, but it's also a, a way for me to um, exercise some actual events that happened in my life personally, uh, visually. The, um, the, that twister board scene is a, is a true story that happened to me when I was like five. My brother did that to me. Uh, I vividly remember being in this uh, upstairs at our house and hearing all the kids, his, he's older and all of this cool older friends calling my name and I ran like they want to play with me I ran down there and they're like come on there's like there's like a piece of gum on, on like a bazooka gum like in the middle of the twister board and they're like there's a piece of gum on the board I was like oh my god it's gum you guys I, I couldn't believe they weren't going for it themselves and fell in this pit and uh it's just I don't know it's been in my back of my head forever like as something that happened to me and, and uh I just, uh, at some point, that song, that that song came to my mind, and uh, and I just built this whole idea around. It. I was like, oh, I got to put in that twister board scene. So, I've been put, my underwear's been pulled up before, you know, at camp. So, I was one to identify. I've been bullied a lot. I think everyone has in different ways. And and uh, in the end of the film, I in the acknowledgments, I I uh, I uh, said sorry to this kid, Aaron, who I was I was a bully to. That um, so I'm trying to just like, you know, exercise all that and just like purge or whatever it's a purge my system. Yeah, you know, I didn't at, at first. I just wanted it to be this concise little idea, but that whole scene at the credits where the, everyone jumps in and the, we just threw the camera in the car and just went for it, and it sort of built itself, and, and everyone was really funny in it. So I was like, wait, you know, it's a bunch of geeks with te modern technology and the grudge, I think we could go pretty far. So we're looking into exploring some ideas, some hot tubs, visitations, you know, with Google Maps, you can find like, you know, outdoor hot tubs, you can find whatever you want, so satellites. So we're gonna explore that. And the bully list, like, you know, there's a way to like, I think that's just gonna get out of control in the future. So, and classhates.com, I feel like there's like a lot of, you know, MySpace and Facebook, like, there's a whole dark side of that that no one's even touching. Like, everyone wants to be friends and reach out, but, you know, people were dicks, too, you know, so that's sort of the idea. You know, I had a DP that pulled all my favors together, you know, and like a real community sort of, you know, knowing a lot of people in film, I'm like, let's do this this day, you know. Uh, and uh, this friend of mine, Daryl Miller, is a really excellent shooter, so he, he came on and, and shot it, gave it a good look. We didn't even, that Lincoln Town car, had no clue we were going to get that till, till the day. And uh, it was just a bonus that those lights went down and stuff. So it was, it all came together. It was very easy to make. I've never been, had, had it be so easy, so. Uh, we shot uh, uh, just digital. Um, uh, HD, uh, what did we, uh, it took one day to do it in the junior high with all those kids and then uh, another day at my uh, my brother's house to like do the whole bully scene. Everyone was down and, and, and super open to, to work on it. No hassles, no no egos and no, uh, the hardest thing was uh, everyone, all the kids wanted to jump in the hole. So that was like preventing that was sort of hard. So. Luckily, we were right by a playground, so when you when you have kids uh, in a film, you have to keep them occupied in life, not just in the film. So they played in the playground. We had pizza parties. Some of the kids were a little uh, uh, picky about their food, but you know we had a, fr a kid, a, a friend of mine was sort of their camp counselor the whole day. You know, just just can't expect them. You can't expect a kid actor to keep their clothes clean. That was my only uh, thing I realized. Like, I, I had these nice gym shoes I let the guy have, or sneakers, and he just trashed them. I was like, man, but other than that, they were cool. They were little actors, you know, had been in, been in theater stuff, so I picked them out during graduation. I was 
So it was fun. This film is just to, just to make it. I, I've been I've I've done a lot of music videos and I've done some commercials, did some features, uh, documentaries, and 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 I I've been getting this this complaint like, well, you know, he doesn't know how to cast. Like he hasn't casted yet. How do we know? It's just documentaries. So I'm like, fine, I'll cast. Let me just watch. Cast that. So it's like this little pet project where I just try to be efficient, funny, you know, cut to the chase and really pull out the vision. So my advice to young filmmakers is don't make the film that you your Scorsese film first. Make a little something, really simple. Because inside of a simple idea, it's very complex, and you don't know that till you explore it and just build from there. And take everyone out for lunch all the time. Lunch gets you much farther than, than money sometimes. Chicago, I, I grew up there. The incident happened in Chicago. Um, so I, I, w I went back and shot there uh, as a... Um, I knew once I got there, I just moved back to Chicago, so I knew once I moved back that I, it was something I needed to do. And uh, got a lot of people from my hometown to be in it who are actors and, you know, Chicago's, Chicago's like an unknown, untapped area, I think. And you know, people come in, John Hughes and whatever, but like there's a lot of great stuff going on and everyone's really accessible, not caught up. Great. Uh, I've really enjoyed the shuttles. They'll take you wherever you want to go in a circle radius. So that's been cool. Um, I haven't been able to see as many films as I want, uh, but um, the ones I have seen, I've totally got inspired by. And I, uh, I, I'm just get. I come to this and I get humbled. Like, you know, you get caught up in your own world of ideas and you've got to do your idea and your film and all this stuff, but then you see what other people put out and you're just like, wow, that's cool. Especially in the shorts, you know, it's, people can really exercise some, some freaky stuff, so freaky in a good way. So this is the premiere of Ex Bully. Um, I, I just finished it and I wanted to send it here. I didn't try to, I'm not, didn't try to do festival like strategies or anything. I was like, I want this to go to F AFI. I crossed my fingers and got in. Um, and, uh, I've just been treated super nice and like, I, I don't know if I can give a shout out to Jasmine, but she's helped me out more than I could imagine. So thank you. Um, and, uh, overall, I don't know what I want to do with this film besides get it out to everyone. Like, and just, cause I think there's a lot of people who've been messed with that I think can identify this and be like, hell yeah, I want to punch someone in the nose. So um, I don't know what my, my strategy is overall, but the response here has been awesome. Everyone laughed at the right places. So I, I feel confident to like move it on to other spots. Not too sure where though. The Connect program was great because I put the film on my iPhone and it's only four minutes. So everyone watched it and, and loved it uh, and responded. And we, we, we knew we could immediately talk about that, the film and what to do and strategize and stuff. And it happened n uh, nine out of the 10 people. The 10th person was kind of a, a, a dud, but I was like, okay, cool. I don't need to, to work with you. But everyone else was really great. Uh, I was really uh, psyched to do that. D I guess the question is, in six months, did that connect work in eight months, you know? Like, we'll see. Like, right now, I've made some great connections and people were psyched and they took the film and it looked like they really wanted to do something with it or show it to someone else. So I got to do that feedback and see who, if they did it, and then see where it goes. And was, you know, or was it just a free lunch? Yeah, we'll see.